they arrive at Angkor in Cambodia, many visitors have the impression they're going back to feelings of childhood, entering into the setting for the Jungle Book. Is there a link between the ruins of Angkor and the story of the little man? The site was discovered by the French explorer and naturalist Henri Mouault. Mouault took off on his own and without official help in 1858 to travel through Siam, Laos and Cambodia, where he had heard stories of a lost city. He discovered the ruins of the temples of Angkor for centuries covered over by thick vegetation. He became very excited about Angkor Vat, the Khmer Versailles. The review Le Tour du Monde published a serialized account of his discovery. The impact on the popular imagination was so strong that he alerted the government to safeguard the ruins. The temple of Taphom, one of the most often photographed, is the only one of the great monuments of Angkor to have been left in the state it was found in. Vegetal and mineral meld. The jungle keeps the monument from falling into ruin. Ta Prom is the perfect mysterious temple lost in the jungle from tales of adventure. The original setting that inspired Rudyard Kipling's Jungle Book is in India, near Nagpur. Today, it is a protected animal sanctuary. It is Walt Disney's last film, The Jungle Book, that was inspired by the landscapes of Angkor Vat that has made such an impression. Kipling pays tribute to the India he grew up in, where animals are often much wiser than men, where, like in Angkor, nature is a key player in the story.